What is up, y'alls? It is me, back again. Um, again, like always, sorry it's been so long since I filmed a video. I'm sorry if I'm a little quiet. My mom's in there really sick. I'm pretty sick. I don't really have any energy. Um, I'm really fatigued right now. Uh, last night at work, my back seized up. And it was really... I'm okay. I just got a sudden sharp headache. Um, sorry. But yes, my back seized up and I'm just exhausted. But uh, I didn't have anything else to do and I know I haven't uploaded in a while. So I figured I would do that. So, I have a couple of videos planned out for when I get a, a webcam, uh, after I, um, have a little extra money, um, which will be probably in June, uh, after I work at the Renaissance Fair in May, which I'm really excited about, I'm really hype, I'm making my costume, I'm gonna be a jester, uh, I'm gonna be in this m m m m musical show, um, singing and stuff, and I'm really excited, uh, I might, I have, I might post some pictures, some sneak peeks into the sketch for my outfit, I've got to spend the next month sewing it before May, and it's really exciting for me because I've been going to the Renaissance Fair since I was little, and, um, I worked at a toy booth, uh, before I turned 18, and uh, last year I didn't go. I was suffering from uh, depression pretty badly, and I just didn't want to go anywhere. And the idea of going to the fair was really... I went a couple of weekends, but I didn't go like an only doing work and whatever, because it was just too much for me. So this year I finally got talked into um, auditioning. Uh, I was really not looking forward to auditions, I was really, but I'm really excited that I did and I don't regret it and I'm super excited for the fair, even though you can't tell. Okay, I thought I heard my mom call. Um, but yeah, so um, one of the videos I have planned out is I want to talk about evolution, uh, why I believe in evolution, what I know about evolution, and then another video about privilege. My cat is scratching the door. Stop it. Um, privilege uh, kind of is a big hot topic. And I kind of want to talk a little bit about it. And it, it's not going to be as SJWE as, SJW as you guys think might think. But this video I wanted to make is inspired by another YouTuber who made a video about her chronic pain due to um, a disease she has called uh, hypermobility EDS and so you guys know I have been struggling with chronic pain in most of my life and I've um, been on this for a month or two now and it's been helping a lot but I can't you know completely treat it my doctor has moved but um, she was actually taking me seriously and she actually gave me something to help and she tried to diagnose it we did blood tests for rheumatoids we did we did um, I've done x-rays um, and nothing came back and I was doing you know, online research. Well, I really wasn't even researching. I stumbled across it. Um, I stumbled across, I think her name is Izzy Kornblau, uh, talking about the diagnostic criteria for hypermobility EDS. And she was going through it, and I was like, I fit this. And so I'm going to take that to my doctor. And because it might actually finally be an explanation, and I may not sound like it, but that makes me, I mean, I'm super excited about the fact that I might finally have an explanation. Um, 
and why I think that, and, you know, most, a lot of people can do stuff, I don't know if you can do stuff like that, but I have, you know, hypermobility in a lot of my joints. More than just that, I can bend ways that I shouldn't be able to bend, you know, uh, one of my knees bends backwards. I have crowded teeth is one of the symptoms, uh, extremely stre stretchy skin, you know, I've got, I think I have stretchier skin than a lot of people in general. But yeah, I'm going to take that to my doctor because I think I might finally have an answer. And if I finally have an answer, it's going to help so much. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on that. But this video is going to be specifically about my pain. Uh, starting from head to toe, I'm just going to tell you um, what kinds of pains, how frequently, whatever, you know. So yeah, um, I'm going to start head. I get frequent headaches. It was way worse when I was younger. Um, uh, it actually started getting better on tea, but uh, I still get them. Not as badly and not as often, um, but they are, uh, especially sinus headaches, they tend to be right here, and they can be anywhere from just a mild all-day thing to a sudden very sharp I'm holding my head right um, I've had to take off work in the middle because I got it so just I couldn't stand the lights in my eyes and I was like um, I, yesterday in the middle of the work I just started getting a sharp pain right here and then it just went away and then it came back and went away and then it didn't come back again um, and I think a lot of what I get back when I get back here is tension um, and since we're moving down it can move to my neck and my shoulders um, so my shoulders and my neck and my back they stay really tense all the time um, no matter what I do they're just extremely tense and so when I'm standing up too long or sitting up in the wrong position too long or um, doing anything that requires stress um, they will increase tension even more and it causes really pain really pain really pain it causes a lot of pain um, like here usually it's the lowest part of my neck um, and my shoulders right here Hold on. sorry my mom wanted the cat <laughs> um, but yes the pain right here they'll really really tense up and so they'll hurt really bad because it's like you know I, I don't know if you guys have ever had that sort of pain I think it's you know not uncommon for people without chronic pain to have that when they get really tense um, I, I'm trying to think about it if you pull a rubber band real tight and kind of wrap it around if you wrapped it around your arm it would start hurting that's kind of what I feel up here um, that area um, the joints in my neck often hurt um, and the joints right between my shoulder blades often hurt and uh, that's uh, kind of like it's like a sharp ache if that makes any sense um, it'll keep aching but it'll feel kind of sharp and radiating um, but it's not as bad as other pains I have. My shoulders, um, they don't hurt often, uh, my shoulder joints, but when they do hurt, it's incredibly awful. It's probably one of the worst pains I do have, um, where I describe it to my doctor like this. Uh, I feel like my arm is being wrenched out of my socket, and it's horrible, um, if you've ever dislocated a shoulder, it's about like that, except I don't, if they're not dislocated. Um, I can actually purposely dislocate them, but it doesn't hurt. Um, that is, it's incredibly painful. I don't recommend it. My doctor, when I described it to her like that, she goes, that is a horrible description. That sounds horrible. It's disturbing, basically. So moving down from there is the rib, my ribs. 
Um, most most of my rib pain is from binding, but uh, I also suffer have suffered from chronic pain there because my ribs are very um, like the rest of my body. They're a little high. They're hypermobile. I can move them with my hands, and it's really uh, common for them to pop out of place um, when I'm working. Uh, I have one specific rib that just repeatedly pops out of place, and so when I'm working, when I'm making movements like this, it's not uncommon that it'll just feel like somebody suddenly stabbed me and then it went away. Pretty, It goes away pretty quickly, but I'm pretty sure that's just it popping out of place and maybe back in, um, and it hurts. It hurts like being stabbed, but it's very quick and then it's over, and I'm over it. Um, Moving down from there is um, my lower back. My middle back, the middle of my back isn't so bad. My lower back uh, does hurt a lot. Um, it's where my muscles seized up last night. Um, the muscles there don't hurt very often unless I'm doing too much moving, but the uh, joints there can hurt really, really bad. It's a ache that can last for days. Um, it can be sharp or it can be dull, and that's... Um, Pretty frequent, pretty frequent, but not all the time. And I'm, you know, for the last, you know, month or two since I've started the medicine, it's been less so. So this is my experience mostly before the medicine, but sometimes still on it. Oh, I did forget to mention um, my arms. You know, my arms are, they're kind of down from my spine. You know, in a manner of speaking, um, my hands, uh, don't usually hurt, but if I'm working, I've got a vacuum that I've got to hold on to, and I've got to hold on to it like this for about an hour at a time, and after that, uh, they do start hurting really bad, a really bad ache, stuff like that. Um, I Arthritis runs in my family. I do know that I'm probably going to have it when I'm older, um, so I'm not too surprised by that, but yeah. I, uh, with my fingers, you know, I can do stuff like bend my fingers further back than they should go without it really hurting too much unless I do it repeatedly. I've really got to get myself out of the habit of that because it's something I've done since I was little is just unhealthily bend my fingers. Um, my elbows don't usually hurt, but once in a while they do. And then, so from there, from my back is my hips, and my hips are the absolute worst. Um, my most common hip pain is in my sleep, actually. I will wake up and it will be extremely sharp and extremely radiating, meaning it'll start in my hips and go down to my knees and then go from my knees to my ankles. Um, and it's, it's not quite as, like, wrenching as my shoulders. It's just more like, to me, it feels like bone against bone, which I know it isn't. And like bone rubbing bone, but that's the only way I can really describe it. Um, so if you don't suffer chronic pain, it might be hard to understand, but it's like, it's almost like there's a fire in my joint. Like have you ever, if you've ever burned yourself, it almost feels like the initial burn in the joint. And it's horrible and I have to I have to move, sometimes I have to get out of bed and uh, to get out of the right wrong position or whatever and realign. Um, this happens sometimes while I'm awake, this particular pain, um, but more often while I'm asleep and uh, I wake up to it. I wake up crying because, oh my god, it's so bad. Um, I also suffer regular, regular pain in my joints day to day. Uh, it'll pinch. I call it a pinching pain. Uh, it'll start every time I take a step. It feels like it's pinching something, and I have to sit down. Um, this is when I got a lot in school, and I would have to sit, you know, away from my gym class, or I would have to roll down a chair in the hallway because I couldn't walk to my next class. Um, another pain I get in my hip rarely. Um, I call it, I, it's where it locks. I did forget something in my elbow, but I'll tell you that after my hip. Uh, I call it locking. Uh, I'll take a step up, 
um, like a stair or something to climb and my hip it feels like um, it'll pop into a certain place and it won't be able to move it at all and if I try the pain is excruciating it's beyond excruciating and it might be pinching a nerve that might be what's happening or something but I can't move it to unbend it and I can't move it to keep stepping usually I fall if that happens it happens very rarely my pain my back is in pain um, but it does happen and it's the worst pain I've ever felt um, the elbow one I forgot is sometimes I will go to do something and stretch out my arm all of my joints pop all the time um, but I'll, I'll do something to stretch out my arm and it'll do what I call catching where I can only get it this far and then it hurts to keep trying to go and I just have to do that to uncatch it and I'm not sure what's happening there and it doesn't hurt afterward uh, but it does hurt for a minute there if I try to just yeah. um, so from my hips I'm probably missing something in my hips because my hips suffer a lot so from my hips I go into my knees and my knees um, they fall on the scale right after my shoulders um, they don't have as bad as pain but they are more frequent they're what really plagued me worse in school um, because you know I would just stand up and randomly my knee would be like nope I don't like that and it would be like I, I would sometimes have to mo bring call my mom to bring me a brace just so I could walk um, to my next class and the pain in my knees uh, often comes from the pain in my hips, but sometimes it's its own kind of radiating ache. Um, sometimes it's like every time I take a step, it aches. Um, or if I just stand up, it aches and I have to sit down. And uh, one of my knees uh, hyperextends, so instead of just going to the flat, it'll do this. Um, and that's inter that's an interesting experience, but my knees also bruise very easily. I don't know what's up with that, but I've always got bruises on my knees for some reason. Um, I would say it's you know pretty bad, pretty annoying, really, because I'll need to do something, and I'll wind up my knees hurting or my hips hurting, and I'm just like, and it makes me so tired. And I'm just like, I'm going to lay down and I'm not going to, I'm going to lay down and I'm not going to get up and I'm not going to, I don't want to. And I'm like, ugh. Um, and then from there, there's my ankles. My ankles aren't too bad. I did have a habit of twisting them when I was a kid um, more often than other kids. Um, and but they don't usually hurt too bad unless the rest of me is also in a lot of pain. Um, and then my feet, my I don't have flat feet, but if I walk around, you know, like at a festival or something, my feet, my arches will start hurting. And the best way I can describe that is as if they're collapsing. They're trying to collapse and it's really painful and uh, sometimes it's in the joint, sometimes it's in the muscle, and I have to sit down and I cannot get up or it will be so painful. Um, my back is really aching. But yes, that is all my joint pains. I do also suffer muscle pain. I mean, other muscle pain, various, you know, more than normal. Uh, it's not as bad as my joint pain. Um, but like if I work out, my muscles will be like, uh, or if I'm like stretching, uh, it'll be like, I don't know how to describe it. That's just the face I feel like making. Uh, yesterday I had to hold a bag out to my mom like this so she could clean something. And it was like, it was like 15 seconds before I was like, my arms are hurting so bad and I had to set it down. Um, the muscles in 
right in my inner thighs will um and in my legs if i stretch the wrong way they will tighten and so i'll try to see if i bend my foot this way the muscles right here would tighten and i try to unbend my foot and it would stay bent and it would hurt and it would slowly unbend and slowly the pain will recede that is why i actually when i was little i quit ballet because we would do the stretching and my muscles would seize up while we were stretching. It was horrible pain. Um, I think, I think that's mostly about it. Um, well, some of the other things I do uh, suffer from is like, I have stomach problems. Um, I have to be, I'm not, I, I'm not as bad, I'm not nearly as bad as some other people, but I do have like, my family calls it a touch of IBS, where sometimes our stomachs will just... Everybody in my family fits this description pretty much. It may be in different areas or different amounts, but everybody fits it. Everybody in my family can hyperflex pretty much all of our joints. So yeah, um, but we call it a touch of IBS, where um, I can eat something one day and it's fine, and the next day it gives me horrible pain, and then yes, diarrhea... You know, I know that's kind of embarrassing to say, but it's not uncommon in people who suffer chronic illness. So, yeah. Um, and the pain will be gone right after I use the bathroom. Um, stuff like that, you know, it can happen anywhere from once a month to a few times a week to multiple times a day. Um, for me, it's usually you know, a couple times a month. For my mom, it's like a few times a week. Uh, my mom is also a lot older, so. Um, yeah. I think, I think that's about it. I'll probably remember something I didn't mention afterward. But, I just thought it would, you guys would be interested in knowing about my body. Uh, but yes. I'm gonna murder. Stop scratching my door. She's a brat. Anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. And I will keep you updated about the situation with my doctors and whatever. Peace.